Booyakasha. Check it out, I is here with none other than my main man, Buzz Aldrin. I know this is a sensitive question, but what was it like not being the first man on the moon? Was you ever jealous of Louis Armstrong? He was Neil Armstrong, and no, I was not jealous. He was a very, very Whatever. qualified person. Yeah. So, when you arrived on the moon, was the people who lived there very friendly, or was they scared of you? There was absolutely no thought of encountering any living being whatsoever. Do you think man will ever walk on the sun? No. The sun is too hot. It is not a good place to go to. What happens if they went in winter when the sun is cold? The sun is not cold in the winter. <laughs> We know you've been axed this a zillion times. It must really get in your tits being axed it. But let's just sort it out. What do you say to all those conspiracy theorists who come up to you and say, does the moon really exist? I don't think there are very many people who question whether the moon exists. It what? exists. And all right, you have heard it here. It does exist. So all those people out there who are saying it don't, he was wrong. That's right. The moon does exist, and we went there. Yo, listen up. But how do they really know what is exists and what is the conspiracy things? Because I know I have seen a picture of J-Lo. Apparently it weren't true. <laughs> I haven't seen those pictures. Well, you should check them out. It's amazing. <laughs> okay. Is you upset that Michael Jackson got all the credit for inventing the moonwalk, but you was the first geezer ever to actually do it. Uh, no. Uh, you, you can call uh, things by different names, and you can use the moon or Mars or Venus, and you can say, this is the Venus trot. But that doesn't mean that it has any connection to what it would be like for a horse moving on Venus. Yeah. Who could, the horse could trot on Venus, right? Well, it's very, horse, very well, there's hot. A, there's horse on Venus. No, 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 no. I'm just, well, neither is Michael Jackson on the moon. I've got a joke about space. You want to hear it? There's a monster from outer space who is going on a trip around the universe, and him goes to the travel booker to book like a hotel on the moon. And the travel booker goes... You can't go to that hotel because the moon is full. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. That is, the moon that is, is full. so quick. <laughs> and uh, the opposite of the moon being full is the, it's the, empty. the new moon. What? That's when it's dark. I thought it's funny because he means he's like full. Yeah, he's like been eating, I know, eating I know. stuff. <laughs> he's all well full and everything. No, the hotel is full. So, but it's, why is it funny? Because the hotel is full. I wasn't sure that it was funny. You said it was funny. Why things, is it funny again? Uh, th things are funny or, or comedic because they mix the real with the absurd. No doubt. And you took the moon, which is real, and the term full, full. and you... Full. Yeah. And you applied that to either the hotel being full or the person being full. And, yeah. and that's an absurd condition, and that's what makes something funny, where you mix the absurd with the real. Wicked. So listen up. You is heard about the moon and about space. You better learn about these things from my man Buzz Lightyear here. So you better realize that these things is important. Big up yourself, but keep it real. Eagles, you're looking great. Coming up next.